four years ago, the editorial board, an, idea, an, an ideologically and demographically diverse group of journalists that is separate from the news staff and operates by consensus, broke with tradition, and took sides in the presidential race for the first time since the USA Today was founded back in 1982. Um, we urged readers not to vote for, for 45, calling the repug movement like the repug nominee unfit for office because he lacked the temperament, knowledge, steadiness, and honesty that America needs from its, from its, from its president. We stopped short, however, of an outright endorsement of Hillary Clinton, who was then the Democratic nominee. This year, the editorial board unanim unanimously, unanimously supports the election of Joe Biden, who offers a shaken nation a har who offers a shaken nation a harbor of calm and competence. Um, recent polls show that more than ninety percent of the voters have decided between Biden and 45, and nothing at this point will change their minds. This editorial is for those of you who are still uncertain about which candidate to vote for and whether to vote at all. It's also for those who settled on 45 but might be having what they call the last-minute doubts. Maybe you backed 45 the last time around because you hoped he'd shake things up in Washington or bring back blue-collar jobs. Maybe you liked his populist, anti-elitist message. Maybe you couldn't stomach the idea of supporting a Democrat as polarizing as Clinton. Maybe maybe you cast a ballot for a minor party candidate or just stayed home. Now two weeks in now t it's two weeks until election day, and we suggest you consider a variation of the question that that the repug Ronald Reagan asked voters when he ran for president back in 1980: Is America better off now than it was four years ago? Obviously, what 45 squatting in the wilds? No, I'm not. So. Beset by disease, economic suffering, a racial reckon, a, ra a racial reckoning, and natural disasters that are fueled by, that are fueled by cha by a, a changing climate, the nation is the, na the nation right now is dangerously off course. We spoke to dozens of people and uh, of dozens of pe we um, basically we spoke to dozens of people in Michigan, Ohio, and Wisconsin, the battleground states that helped propel Forty Five into the White House in twenty sixteen, and many declined to comment, citing a general disgust with the election or a fear of speaking out publicly. While some said that they were personally better off, most of those willing to talk on camera expressed anguish and dismay about the nation's direction of where it's headed. Um, basically, when 45 was elected as the nation's first squatter without previous experience in government or the military, we hoped that he would become, as he promised during the 2016 campaign, more disciplined and so um, squatter wall that you people will be so bored. After all, when you are a passenger on an airplane, you root for the pilot, even one who has never been in the cockpit before. Um, w whether you are a pilot or the or the or the or the president, the most important part of your job is to manage a crisis. But when confronted with an emergency like COVID nineteen, the biggest public health threat in more than a century, um, forty five didn't land the plane safely on the Hudson River. His symbolic response to the coronavirus p pandemic has inflated a national death toll. That is equivalent to the crashes of more than 1,000 Boeing 737 jetliners. The United States, with only 4% of the world's population, has 20% of the reported cases for COVID. If America is at war against COVID-19, and, and 45 said that he was a wartime president, which he's not, um, the invisible enemy is winning and now has penetrated the White House grounds. Um, there is little doubt that Biden could have handled the crisis more capably, he surely, he surely would not have become a super spreader of coronavirus information, but back in January, in a, but back in January, in a column for USA Today, the former vice president warned that the novel coronavirus was emerging in China will get worse before it gets better, and that for, and that forty five is the worst possible person to lead our country through a global health cha challenge. During during the campaign, Biden has modeled mask wearing and other public health recommendations that forty five has flouted while downplaying the threat. A Biden administration would follow the science and build trust in emerging vaccines. It's no secret that the editorial board disagrees with 45 not just on his approach to the coronavirus, but also on fundamental issues, from health care and climate change to immigration and trade. Policy dif differences, however, are not the reason behind our first ever um, what they call endorsement of Biden. Diverse views, even ones we think are wrong-headed, are a staple of American politics and something to celebrate. If this were a choice between two capable major party nominees who happen to have opposing ideas, we couldn't choose sides. Different voters have different concerns, but this is not a normal election, and these are not normal times. Um, this year, character, competence, and credibility are on the ballot. Given 45's refusal to guarantee a peaceful transit power, if he loses, so too is the future of, dem of America's um, democracy. 
For nearly four decades, this, the editorial board has stood for certain core values, truth, accountability, civility, and public discourse, opposition to racism, common ground solutions to the nation's problems, and, stead and steadfast support for First Amendment rights. These aren't partisan issues, or at least they shouldn't be. 45 has trampled each of these principles, making more than 20, basically telling 20,000 plus lies and ducking responsibility for his actions, spewing streams of an active, um, of an, of, of, of invective at his critics, tra um, trafficking and racial fear mongering, governing more as the leader of the red states than, than of, of the whole United States as a, as a whole, and relentlessly attacking the free press. Everything about Biden's nearly half century political career suggests he would do a far better job of respecting these values. We need to revive the spirit of bipartisanship in this country, the spirit of being able to work with one another, said the Democratic nominee in a recent speech in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Biden is, wor is a worthy antidote to 45's unbound narcissism and chronic chaos. Having surmounted heartbreaking personal loss with his first wife and, and one-year-old daughter dying in a car crash and his son Beau dying of brain cancer, Biden ex exudes decency and empathy. Ask yourself this, can you imagine Joe Biden denigrating service members as losers? and cozying up to autocrats abroad, and shaking down a foreign leader for dirt and a political opponent. All politicians, of course, have flaws, and Biden has no exceptions. His only flaw, his, his, one, his one main flaw, <coughs> excuse me, the only flaw that Biden has, basically, is that he turns 78 next, next month. And like, the, and like the November foliage in New, in New England is somewhat past peak. <clears throat> For someone billed as a foreign policy expert, he managed to be wrong about both the Persian and, and Persian Gulf War he opposed um, back in 1991 uh, in an effort to, ex to expel Saddam Hussein's forces from Kuwait. And the Iraq war that he supported um, in 2003, uh, which the um, U.S. invasion, which turned into a debacle. Um, his handling of Anita of Anita Hill's sexual harassment claim against the Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas in 1991, when Biden was chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, he has not aged well. He is capable of cringeworthy gaps, and his sentences can wander off into uncharted territory. Nevertheless, Biden is an experienced hand with working class roots, who understands the American dream. He knows the levers of power and how to wield them. He does have a history of working across the aisle on such issues as health care, racial justice, and the environment. He has the knowledge and the personality to begin repairing America's tattered reputation around the world. Maybe you've heard repug operatives and commentators trying to paint Biden as a puppet of the far left um, movement, but if he if he was able to resist such un unaffordable progress, like um, unaffordable progressive ideals as Medicare for All and the Green New Deal during the heat of the, de of the Democratic primaries, it is hard to envision him bracing them once he's in the White House. <clears throat> Biden is well. Biden is well positioned to repair the wreckage that Forty Five has made of the federal government, from the Foreign Service to the to the science agencies that Forty Five has tried to politicize. As Vice President in the Obama administration, Biden played a central role in the late in the last economic recovery and is equipped to handle another one. Even before the pandemic struck, Forty Five did no better than the Obama Biden administration on job creation, the stock market, and the economic growth. Remember his promise to pay off the national debt in eight years. It's now $27 million and up more than $7 million from four years ago. Biden knows that the recovery process will re what the Biden knows what the recovery process will re require. First and foremost, a comprehensive national response to the COVID-19 crisis that has upended Americans li American lives and left large sectors of the economy reeling. This extraordinary mo moment in the history of our nation requires an extraordinary response with his plans, his personal picks, his experience, and his humanity. Joe Biden can lead the United States out of this war, more, more, uh, more, 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 and into the future. Your vote can help make that happen. <clears throat> so if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, Ryan Ben Mike, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.